Good morning, everyone. It's your boy Corwin back at it again. <coughs> Lots of noises this morning. <coughs> I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, another fun day on my way to work. Oh man, nose is fairly congested this morning. <coughs> yeah, I, uh, I fucking slept since like two yesterday. Waking up on and off to go to the bathroom or for one reason or another, but for the most part I slept all the way through. Probably closer to around like 2.45. I was in dire need of sleep. But luckily I got it. Luckily I got it. I was totally prepared to wake up at like 10 or 11 and not go back to bed. And I told myself, hey, if I get up and I can't sleep for like 30 minutes, then, uh, then I'm just gonna fucking... I'm just gonna go to bed. Or I was just like, I'm just gonna be up, sorry. I still, <laughs> I still feel groggy. Um, yeah, woke up, took a shower, actually feel pretty good. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. So I hope all of you are doing well. Sunday. So yesterday was a mystery game. Well, I guess spoiler alert, right? I'm gonna announce it later. I wonder if this video will go before I announce it. Probably not. Yeah, it'll be for a mystery game. I think it's gonna be for Tiny Tina's uh, whatever the, the the Tiny Tina sequel for Borderlands. Tiny Tina's Wasteland Wonder Wonder Wasteland whatever. <clears throat> so it'll be the full game for that. Today will be another mystery gift. So, yeah. I hope uh, all of you guys that have been watching have been... Um, you know, participating. It's, it's free to enter. You get free shit. Give away lots of free shit. But yeah, besides that, just been working a lot. Minus last Tuesday, I think it was, which was the day that I took off because I felt horrible. Um, I've been working. Uh, yeah, I worked, uh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then on Saturday, <clears throat> well, on Friday, I worked twice because that was the night market. So I went to work, went home, took a nap for like two hours, and then woke up and then went to the night market and ran an event coordinated that. <clears throat> and then on Saturday, I had another gig, which was supposed to be for four hours, but I think it got cut short to like two and a half because of the lack of people. Which is understandable because I don't think that the event itself was advertised properly. Um, I let them do the advertising and I told them as such. I was like, look, I didn't do very much. I wasn't asked to do very much, but I wanted to kind of see how you guys ran things, what you guys did. I think that we can turn this into a bigger event, but uh, uh, we, we will be the ones that take care of it. So I want, I'm gonna set up a meeting with them. <coughs> I'm gonna see what's up. Um, 
another thing too. If you're a business owner and you are interested in working with other people, do not <laughs> do not ghost them for long periods of time and state that you're busy. Um, because <laughs> oh man, I gotta say if it's for multiple months. Um, you know, because at that point, all that tells the person that you're attempting to interact with is, you're not even worth the time when I'm on the toilet. That's how I look at it. Maybe, maybe that's not fair. Maybe I'm just not trying to see better at the people's lives and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm really going to budge on this because I, I refuse to ignore people unless I'm intentionally ignoring them. But that's the difference, right? Ignoring versus, like, being busy. And this isn't a, oh, I didn't see it. I know it's not because I, see, I send multiple messages. And uh, it's like, I'm not going to chase business. Like, for me, like, my DJ stuff is more of a hobby. It's a side job. And I'm not going to put in a bunch of effort. Especially, you know what? And the thing is, is this doesn't even just involve me. This involves my whole team. Right? And it's like... <laughs> I, like, why would I... Uh, like, these are volunteers. These people are volunteering. Nah, I, did, I didn't even think about that. They're not getting paid for these events. For this particular individual that I'm referring to. So, <laughs> why would they want to work with somebody that is constantly uh, dismissive in terms of keeping up? So, I, just uh, so everyone's on the same page, I was supposed to meet up with somebody. Uh, first, they, they reached out to me after two months even though I had messaged them multiple times to see where we were at in terms of events. Because we had scheduled events. <clears throat> we had scheduled events. We were supposed to be doing them quarterly. And so I just got ghosted because they ended up being very busy. They had a big business merger. And I was like, okay, all right. A big business merger? Okay. Like, I, I disagree that you can't be like, hey, I'm super busy right now. I will get back to you when when I have some time set up for this event because it's not like she's just talking to me as a friend like I get that but at the same time I'm a business partner I mean she tells me you know, I'm her friend and she tells me that we're business partners so that's like double right like it's like I I have to be understanding to a degree I'm not a full time like full-blown business owner i'm not somebody that's trying to manage a business while also managing a merger between two major businesses like okay i get it i'm not gonna fucking overstep my bounds but she says nothing for two months even though i've asked her multiple times hey uh, are we still doing the event that we had planned that we planned earlier this year nothing and then she messages me like a week and a half ago and she's like hey can you uh in a month so at least there's a a strong time frame can you run this event for us it's not exactly the event that we had organized because this is going to be a special event because it's our anniversary and i'm like <sighs> say okay so then, I ask some follow-up questions. I get ghosted a bit. And then, like, two days after I ask these questions, she goes, okay, hey, let's, let's, let's have a meeting. Let's have a phone meeting. I'm like, okay, cool, because you suck at texting. <laughs> I was like, that's fine. I didn't say the suck at texting part, but hey, even if she hears this, you know you do. That's where we're at. Um, so then... She sets up the meeting. I say, hey, call me at 9. Which, for those of you guys that don't know, that's my lunch time. So I was going to sacrifice my lunch to talk to her. And she goes, no, no. Uh, if, if possible, 10 works better for me. I'm like, 
All right, I will make sure that I can be free during that time frame of work. Like face palming, it's like it's whatever. Ten the next day comes, goes nothing. Okay. Then the night market happens. <laughs> She's at the night market. She ends up meeting up with me, and she goes, "Hey, super sorry." Like, okay. She goes, um, let's meet tomorrow, uh, same time. I'll be on the road, so I'll be free. Guess what, gang? You'd be a Scooby-Doo fucking mystery machine master if you didn't guess what happened next. So, I talked to my team the next day, because it was on Saturday, and that's when we had that, uh, well, it wasn't even a week. I just had a gig at a bar, and I put on a K-pop night, which, you know, like I said, ended early. It was supposed to end at 11, ended at 9.30, because they didn't have enough people, and they couldn't justify staying open late. I was like, okay, that's fair. I'm not even going to push. So then we all go out to eat, and I tell them, hey, look, you know, this individual did not, did not call. They didn't text. They didn't say shit. And, uh, man, my team was pissed. And a bunch of them were just telling me, like, we really want to work with somebody like that? That treats us like that? It's like, oof, this is going to be bad. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so we'll, I'm going to see what's up. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> You guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe and watch out for dragons.